Hello, it's Dr. Sheila Kilbane. My video today is about the cold I recently had, so I'm still recovering. I had a terrible virus over the weekend, and I rarely really get sick, probably every three or four years. And I saw on Facebook somebody had posted, Sarah Olin, you did, about you had such a bad cold, and what do you do to get over it? And I thought, oh, poor Sarah, you know, I never get sick, you know, yada, yada, yada. And three days later, boom. So I've been burning the candle at both ends. I know why I got sick. But what happened, my nose was running so badly and I needed something. So I needed, you know, I used my neti pot. I was going to show you the things that I used. But I also wanted something stronger because literally it would not stop running. So I went to grab some Benadryl, which I was even surprised that I had any. And lo and behold... <clears throat> the Benadryl was bright pink and of course artificial color so I'm like oh I don't really want to take that I, I felt like I needed it but I didn't want to put the coloring into my system so oh I find some Sudafed in my cabinet huh bright red red coloring they're both the red dye so I think they're both red dye this Sudafed had FDNC red number 40 and the Benadryl it is FDNC or sorry DNC red number 27 aluminum lake which you know medications have a lot of things in them but at that point in time sometimes you just want the strong stuff because the neti pot I had already done the neti pot and it hadn't fully done its effect I even pulled out the afrin which didn't do a whole lot of good either so the Anyway, I, I recovered quickly. I mean, it was a, it was over 24 hours. It was about a 48 hours of feeling really crummy, and then I even got a fever. But um, the other things I wanted to say are the other things that I did. So I always do a high dose of vitamin D if I'm starting to not feel so well. And I did, um, I like to use a liquid because it's oil-based and it gets absorbed well. And I did 20,000 international units just for a couple of days, and then I did 10,000 for a little, uh, you know, a few days after that. You don't want to do too, too much vitamin D for too long because you can overdose on it. It's a fat soluble vitamin, and that's why we're very specific about vitamin D recommendations. So, again, this is just me what I did. I'm not saying that this is what you should do when you get sick, um, but that's just what I do. And then I also take I take Juice Plus, I take it every day, I take a double dose of it every day. I think that's why I only get sick once every three or four years, part of the reason. Um, so I do all three types. It's a whole food supplement and you can read about that on my website if you're interested. And probiotics. So I always have probiotics in my refrigerator. I'm not that consistent with taking them until I start to feel sick. So I got back on my probiotics when I wasn't feeling well. So anyway, I am much, much better now and I should be writing and not shooting videos, but this was easier to do than finishing my book. So I have to sit down. The book is due very soon and I hope all of you stay healthy and would love to hear the ways that you get well when you're not feeling good. Go ahead and post that below this and if you Want to hear more videos like this? Hop on over to my website, SheilaKilbane.com from Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks so much.